Did you notice? Not all the ghosts were aggressive. Yes. Most just disappeared when they touched the aura of a living person. I think the curse corrupts the ghosts of the Fallen and turns them into Draugrs. Is that the Witcher's professional name for wraiths? Draugrs are demons of war. They arise at sites of exceptionally vicious, bloody battles. Their bloodlust and hatred in condensed form. Can you kill them by conventional means? A silver sword is enough for a Draugr. But as long as the curse remains active, hey, you gotta go to for the arrive. source. The soldier's ghosts are the key. If I could turn the tide of the battle. For that, you'll need symbols of war belonging to those who fell in battle. Hatred, death, courage, and faith. All artifacts must be magically active and connected to the fallen, or they won't lure the ghosts. Right. I'll look around. Finding two will be enough. Get the symbols of hatred and death and leave the rest to me. I'd prefer courage and faith. Don't fuss. I'll see what I can do. Cecil seems to know a lot about the area. What are you doing in here? Recording? Yeah. Recording The Witcher. I'm in an intense cutscene right now. What are you doing? What do you need? Uh, why? I don't know. Probably in the other room. No! That's mean! Okay, um, let's see. Anything about blood curses? Know anything about blood curses? Do you? We're dealing with a fourth level curse, also known as the Curse of the Archmistress. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thing is, until now I thought it was only a myth that such a curse couldn't be cast. You thought wrong. There are six confirmed cases of this curse being inflicted. What about confirmed cases of it being lifted? One. Achieved by a team of sorcerers led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear. Finderbear. Hence the curse's other name. Sabrina Gleverzig was on the team. Small world. That's not all. The curse investigated by Francesca and Sabrina was designed to end the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. They were cursed by Scarlet Rodelega, a complete madman, but very talented. An eclipse and wraiths also accompanied his curse. So Sabrina's curse is just a knockoff Rodelega. Exactly. Hmm, not as bad then. What happened here three years ago? Henselt attacked Edern, but met his match. Nobody won that war. Sabrina Glefesig got into a conflict with the Commander-in-Chief of the Kedweni forces, and this led to both armies being rooted. Fireballs turned the battlefield into a flaming tomb. Henselt accused Sabrina of using a forbidden weapon. Sabrina. And Sabrina cursed Henselt. I think so. I suspect the curse got out of hand because of the circumstances. This sounds like chaos happened there. The stars weren't right, wrong phase of the moon. There's always an excuse for simple bungling. She placed the curse while burning at the stake. Her hands and feet nailed to a wagon wheel. I'd say she did a good job considering. Hmm, that's interesting. Can Francesca's experience help us? Certainly. I know the symbols and the workings of the curse thanks to her. Care to explain? I'm the one risking my neck. You'll have to relive the battle and change its course at the right moment. I don't know exactly what will happen. Nobody does. Huh. I'll look for those artifacts. I'm good for now. I'll let you know when I learn something. But was I supposed to... You wanted to discuss... I found an immortel. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> you wanted to dis... You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. Luckily, this area has a long history. There's the Battle of Wraiths, the site of Sabrina Gleverzig's death and suffering, the abandoned mines. I was hoping you'd be specific. I took care of the mines. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod, but please try to be a little inventive. Ask the locals, that's always a good place to start. I dare say Alderman Burden knows every last stone in the area. Maybe you should see him. Everything leads to Cecil. You Everything to leads to Cecil. Them. I'm looking for Triss. Letho forced her to teleport near Vergen. Letho? Voltest's killer. Perhaps Demavend's too. Will you help me find her? Certainly. We sorceresses must stick together. We have too many enemies. Triss contacted you through Sheila de Tanzerville's megascope while in Flotsam. And I haven't heard from her since. Can you locate her? A megascope responds to a person's aura. If I had something of hers, I could find her. 
You were close to her. Mm. Maybe you have something. No, I don't, I don't have think anything. so, yeah. Not good. Wait. A local drunkard claims he saw a redhead fall out of the sky. Yeah, that this would that be would lead. definitely be Triss right there. There are many redheads. Perhaps they're just drunken delusions. It's possible, however, that an unstable teleport ejected Triss near the town. As it's our only lead, I'll talk to this drunkard. Do you know him? I'm not used to associating with drunkards, but you'll likely find him in the inn. Get drunk. Thank you. Obviously. Come back as soon as you learn anything. Okay, well, talking to Philippa has unlocked uh, a darn sure lot of things. Thank you, Philippa. Thank you for your help. I just need to look now and uh, see what in the world I... Well, one, I want to go and f take on that apprentice's son or whatever his name or the Blacksmith's apprentice. Because he's the one. He's the one that I must challenge for dice! Um... Okay, go to Stennis to get royal blood. Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Doom, doom. Okay, um, let's see. I'll go to the poker one. If that'll guide me. Oh, yeah, he is up here. I wouldn't mind a close one. Let's play dice po poker. I'd like to play dice. Shall we play now? Let's roll some dice. Might lose a few times, but I got some serious cash. What do we have here? Oh, that's a garbage hand. One. Might as well just re-roll everything. Let's re-roll everything. What does he have? I didn't even look and see what he had. You lose. Yep, I know. Every single time. You may know how to go again. Again! Again, Haggard! Let's play some dice poker. Shall we? Let's roll some dice. I wish the music would stay on the Bergen by Night thing. Okay, so he's got two of a kind with the fives. So do I, so. Actually, I have two pair right now. So I can try and get a full house. Or, uh, yeah. Oh, I'd called a straight a full house earlier, I guess. Oops. Nice but yes, I got him! Take that, you jerk! Ha! You must be an old hand at this. The prize money is Good. yours. Good, give it to me. I don't want gold. I'd like something besides coin. You're a blacksmith's apprentice. Got anything interesting? Hmm, I suppose I might. What do you fancy? What do you fancy? Got any meteorite steel? Aye. Three colors. Blue, yellow, and red. I get some red. It's meteorite steel, not bloomers or garter belts. Meteorite steel comes in several varieties depending on the nature of the element it's saturated with and the depth of that saturation. The elements dye the ore different colors. For instance, fire dyes the ore red. And red meteorite, well, you work it differently. You heat and hammer form it differently. You understand now? Mm-hmm. Sure you're just the blacksmith's helper? Want anything, or are you just going to stand there and wonder? He is a dwarf. I'll take some red meteorite steel. Or blue. I'll take the blue. Blue meteorite sounds interesting. Good choice. Anything else? Any chance you got a small knife? Just a what? regular little knife. Mmm. For kitchenware, you might try the tavern. What in the world? Why do you need... Okay, well, I finished the... I finished that. I darn sure did. Took care of that one I did. Yes. Um... <sighs> dun, 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 dun. A bit... <laughs> it's... Dandelion's so ridiculous. And now, let me tell you how I solved the crime in Vergen with a bit of help from Geralt. <laughs> a bit of help. Oh, Dandelion. Okay, let me go get my reward from Cecil. 
from Cecil Burden. The world, where is he at? I guess this is his house. I should go into his house. And now let me tell you about the time that Cecil was a cat. Because when I walked into his house, he leaped up, leapt up to me meowing. Meowing like no tomorrow. And I found you, Cecil, while you're sleeping. We killed most of the necrophages. Most? The passage to the lower level collapsed. They won't get out. In time, they'll die off and you can restart work. Thank you, Witcher. The whole of Vergen thanks you. Here's your coin. Shive, Skags, and Zigrim will get the same. Well, they all did their fair work. Hey, not go. don't go to bed yet. Saskia needs help, Cecil. Philippa can produce an antidote, but she needs a magic artifact to do that. Would you like a fern and a dancing worm to go with it? Listen, I don't know about magic, but there is a place. As long as I can remember, it's been of interest to sorcerers. They say it's a very strong intersection. Look for magic there. Where exactly is there? Seek out the ruins in the forest beyond Bergen. There's a place of power there. You can't ah, a place it. of power, eh? I'll take it. Why so glum? Saskia's a tough girl. She'll bounce back. Keep your head up. Thanks, Cecil. No, Witcher. I thank you. Save that lass, and you'll save my town. Sounds good. How about... Cecil, do you know anyone who fought... Hey, that guy! Years ago? That guy I met. I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philippa claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult. Called king by some. Thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwini crown and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago this land belonged to Kedwin. Lord of Crab, 700 years ago the elves reigned here. And a million years ago, these lands were the domain of the worms. If things weren't that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right <laughs> to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Edernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day that grew hot later. Very hot. When van der Grift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard. But we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for the ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dunbanner, but that was only the beginning. Seltkirk was our commander. Seltkirk. Everywhere he appeared, the Kidwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Van de Grift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Van de Grift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes. There were no more friends and enemies. Only the living and Sounds the dead. Like chaos. They say it was the doing of a Kidweni sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. Hmm. Did you see the duel between Seltkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once at a jousting tournament in Ard Kareg. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. 
Selkirk was a true knight, the last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament, he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Sarskia's got it. Good thing ah, too. there we go. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine, not a single keepsake so of Selkirk. Gauntlet in the and that Edward. sword. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet, but he's a lying dog. Okay. You captured the Dunbanner standard. Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitor sent them to their deaths, refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. Hmm. Remember anything from before the battle? As if it was yesterday. Hensolt's troops crossed the Pontar the third day after the autumn equinox. Edon had good spies, so we were ready for them, and Selkirk lined up our troops along the hills. Our hearts rose at the sight of the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, and Gullet fluttering in the wind. Knights and armored infantry side by side in our ranks. Even the peasants had their regiments. The dwarves were on the, the left, left flank of dwarves. Over 5,000 strong we 5,000? Nobody caring about race or background like never before. Only King Demovin was missing, but he must have had more important business than defending his country. Thanks, Cecil, that was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhart claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandegrift's sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. Okay, well that was a very, uh... That was a very interesting... What's it called? Uh, chat? There's like a ton of stuff I just figured out, or like, came to discover here. Okay, so... Death symbolized hatred. Okay. So I guess I did I get the gauntlet? What? Okay. Um Let's go to Stennis and get some royal blood. Let's go to Stennis and get some royal blood. Man, the Vergen is so cool. Wish I lived in Vergen. <laughs> I wish I lived here. It's so cool. Look at that waterfall. Imagine all the cats I could have here. Castle of the Three Fathers. Uh, he's in his chambers down here. Man, how'd you like to wake up to that in the morning? Just come out and... Whoa! -hoo! Anyway. <laughs> Let's go and see Stannis. Stannis, I need your blood, man. Pray tell, what compels you to disturb the Prince of Edirne, Witcher? Well, I calm down there, buddy. And you believe I should answer them instead of setting my dogs on you? What's wrong with I you? Think your Royal Highness has enough foes here, abroad, in Vengerberg. The intricacies of succession are not something I wish to discuss with an itinerant monster slayer. Why is this guy such a grouch? I need royal blood. As you know, I, I've yet to be crammed. But blood of your royal ancestors flows through your veins. Well, true, but that doesn't mean I'll shed a drop for some vagabond. Are you a witcher or a vampire? I needed to save Saskia. I need you to live. Don't bother me with such audacious proposals. Are you kidding me right now? Wait for events to unfold, okay. This guy's an idiot, stupid Stennis. I don't want to talk to you. Nothing more we can do about that. Oh, man. Yeah. Hunting magic. Okay, well, Cecil had talked about... Find the place of power which Cecil mentioned. Okay, 
Let's go to this here, because I think that's in the same place, generally. Go to the burn village or examine the corpses in the catacombs beyond Varigan. What, what's this? Okay, so what's this This quest again? I solve a crime in Varigan with a bit of help from Carol. <laughs> For, yeah, I remember that. Um, Elias thought he he would need a witcher, but had no idea that a poet would prove to be a key to the case. Young men, both elves and humans, were being murdered in Varigan. The elf said the bodies were being found near a burn village located at the mouth of the gully leading to Varigan and subsequently being interred in the catacombs beyond the town. Look, uh, took it... All in and began to wonder if he should go to the crime scene or to the burial site. Hmm, that's a choice right there. That's a choice. I mean, if I go to... I could go up there. I don't know which one is which, though, because that's going to go out. Eh, well, I think this is the burial ground, so I'll go up to that one. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, witch. Hello, how's it going? How's it going, my friend? You all have a bunch of cats, you know that, right? 